And if you completed the first two steps correctly, you should have solved the first layer along with the first side. <clears throat> and then this next step, we're going to be attempting to solve these four edges right here. In order to do that, we're going to flip the cube around. So for this step, you're going to need to know two algorithms. What, they are both the same except inverted. Now, you line the orange up with the orange, just like that. The white has to go to the right side. So then you do up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Just like that. Then we're going to move on. Then you line up the red with red. Yellow has to go right, so then you do up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Okay? Uh, and you don't want to line up any of them that are... You don't want to line up any of them that are blue. So, And then... Okay, I'm just going to do this real fast. Because I need to show you the left version of the algorithm. Okay, so now we're going to line red up with red. White has to go left this time. So then we do the opposite of that algorithm. It's up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. Just like that. Then you line yellow up with yellow. Orange has to go right again. So then you do up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Here, and I'm just going to do one more left just to show you guys for a demonstration. So then we're going to line the orange up with orange. Yellow has to go left. So then you do up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. Then, if you did those steps correctly, you should have solved the first two layers. <coughs> now we are going to solve the top, the top cross. So, um, I'm going to... Yeah. Okay. Now, you're going to have, like, four things. Um, if you have the L... You hold it in the top left-hand corner of the screen, like top left-hand corner of the cube right here. And if you have the line, you hold it horizontally like um, this. Hold on, I messed up. Hold on. Okay. So if you have the line like this, you hold it horizontally and if you have the cross you skip this step but if and if you have the line you just hold it anyway so I'm gonna start with the line for demonstration so you hold the L in the upper left hand corner of the up face like this then you do front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted then it should change to the line or the cross or the L. Then you do that again until you get to the cross. Front, right, up, uh, inverted, up, inverted, front, inverted. Now we have a cross. If you had the dot in the beginning, you would have to do that algorithm one more time. Now, no matter what kind of cross you have, you should be able to line up at least two of these colors with their corresponding colors. So let's see. Let's line white up with white. Oh. Yellow lines up. See? Yellow, yellow, white, white. So, in, if they're opposite each other, like I am, you hold, one, you hold one of them in front of you and one of them behind you. If you have them next to each other, you hold one of them in your right hand, another one behind you, and an incomplete one in front of you. But I have them opposite each other, so I'm going to hold one in front of me and one behind me. Then you do right, up, Right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. And then if you had them across from each other, they'll become next to each other. If you had them next to each other, you do one final up, and they should all be lined up. Now I'm going to hold one complete one in my right hand, incomplete one in front of me, 
run complete run behind me. Then right up, right inverted up, right up up, right inverted. And when I add them next to each other, so I'm gonna do one final up, and they should all be in place. Now, in this step, you're gonna look for pieces that are oriented but not permutated. Um, if you're wondering what that means, it means that you want to have the pieces in the correct place, but not necessarily flip the right way. So, right now none of them are in the right place, so I'm just going to hold it any way I want. If you have one of them in the right place, you'll hold it in the bottom right hand corner of the up face, like right here. I'm just going to hold it naturally, because I don't have any correct. So, up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. Then if you didn't have any in the beginning, you should look around for ones that are got done. So put it in the right place and then hold it at the bottom right hand corner like this. Then you do up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. You carry on doing that algorithm until you get them all in place. Still not yet, so it's up, inverted, left, inverted, up, right, inverted, up, inverted, left. There, okay? They should all be in place now. Yellow, yellow, orange, orange, blue, blue. White, white, orange, orange, blue, blue. Okay. Now, you'll have a few things. You'll either have all of these corners in the right place but not flipped the right way. You're going to have one of them in the right place, two of them in the right place, three of them in, all, all in the right place, or all of them in the right place. If they're all in the right place and flip the right way, skip this step and you've solved the Rubik's Cube. If they're not, like me, then you hold one of the incomplete and unflipped pieces in the bottom right-hand corner, like this. Then you do this algorithm. In this step, it looks like you're messing everything up you've done, but you're not. It comes back in the, in, in the end. So then you do right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And you carry on doing that till the, till the corner piece gets up there in the right place. It only took me twice. So now I'm going to move on to the next one. So oh, hold on. There. Now this one is going to take four times. But you have to turn the up face when you're changing from one side to another. So you always have to have one in the bottom right hand corner. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. Then you're a few turns away from solving the Rubik's Cube. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment to this video.